Hello everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered, and in this episode we are going to go ahead and take on Sif. Uh, I did like a little dry run, uh, just to make sure we could actually get into the boss fight, because I was just unsure as to whether I had unlocked it, it seems like it has. Um, so, I spent the souls to get the Crest of Artorius, um, we're outside of Andre's um, workshop right now, and I have already used it just to open up the... Open up the area. I did a little bit of co-op just to make sure I had uh, the souls for it. Uh, so I've ended up with a bit of a surplus, so we're going to use that once we get to the bonfire over over in that direction. Uh, it's going to get us a couple of extra, extra points. So I think I'm going to continue boosting endurance until it reaches 20. Uh, and then we're going to start pumping health up to 30, I think. Uh, our damage stats are pretty fine for now. Claymore is doing work just uh, just through its upgrades. Well, it probably could stand to do more damage, but with how we're handling the Silver Knights, I'm not too worried. These guys are now down to being one shotted um, and the, the, the armor that we're wearing is obviously doing its job as well, which is pretty cool. Do, 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 do. I mean, I could probably stand to be using the Grass Crest Shield, but being able to uh, to block effectively without having to lose all of my stamina is really really handy it's also not letting the uh, the five percent of the damage through either that the grass crest shield does so there's a potential here that i'm probably going to end up using the uh, the boulder the boulder shield for a while now <coughs> over the over the grass crest shield which is going to require basically that i uh do in fact start pumping up my endurance otherwise i'm going to really suffer so we've got two levels worth here um Gonna go straight into endurance. We also need to start thinking about putting this up because we're gonna start getting more spells very soon, and we're reaching our maximum amount. Uh, and this is where, as a caster, you start losing levels because you see I'm, I'm putting two levels in there and I'm not even gaining anything out of it, um, which is just a pain in the ass. Which is why I end up leaving it so late. Uh, as you can see as well, let's go over spells. I have attuned um, homing soul mass. Don't know how well it's gonna do in here, uh, but it, this isn't quite such a um, an enclosed space, so should actually be pretty useful in here, and you guys will be able to see that as well. So we get this on. I think this lasts for about 60 seconds before it kind of disappears, but we will of course end up waiting for then. There you go, bam! The damage on it. Oh, right, we need to deal with that one first because uh, we're actually taking extra damage because of our headpiece. Oh my god! I wasn't expecting to get down so easy. So uh, basically, this is the area that you can unlock with the uh, Crest of Autorius? Crest of Autorius? Whatever it's called. Um, now, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty certain that uh, once you kill them, they don't respawn. But I could be wrong. Right, let's... I probably should have taken the head, head gear off again, right? I mean, the biggest issue is trying to get them to loot. Oh my god. That time, right, I want them souls back before I die again. Right, let's see if there's an opportunity to cheese these guys, because I'm clearly too uh, too much of a noob to be dealing with them, clearly. Are you going to come through the door? I think I was going to cast through the door. Wow! <laughs> I didn't realise it'd get such a good tracking on me. That's pretty funny in my opinion. Right, okay, so... Let's take this a bit more seriously now. I've got my souls back, that's what... Or, or more importantly, the humanity. And that's what uh, what I was aiming for. With that little run. Um, right, so... Let's draw you out. Where are you? Right there, aren't you? So we want to go this end of you. Here he comes. Equal weaponry, that's a weapon. Not equal dodge though. Wow! You are really good with that roll of yours, aren't you, dude? Yeah, not even your kick can get through my shield. Can I get through yours though? You're being more annoying than I ever remember you being. Yeah, it's not going to work for you, mate. The shield's a boss. Yeah. I know that's what you're waiting for, dude. That's fine. 
can't believe how good your resistance is. I was expecting a, a backstab there. There we go, that's better. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Luckily, I don't think these guys can actually heal, so... There we are. Now, I would test whether or not they uh, they spawn right now, but I would absolutely prefer it if they didn't. Uh, just in case. This guy's going to be pretty easy. Oh, want to get close. Well, to be fair, I could probably out outgun him. Probably waste really, but never mind. I really probably should say that's Sif. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, continuing on. Uh, you're gonna want to edge around here. There's a nightmare on this right hand side. I don't know there is. I can't remember what it is though. We are gonna start coming across large amounts of the the tree things though. Here's one here. Look. Oh, what? Yeah, invincibility frames when you appear. I didn't know that. One's coming, I can hear it. There it is. I can hear another one approach. I hate that. That's really annoying. Or at least learn to cut the freaking hedge. There's another one. So, as you can imagine, when I said a lot, oh, good damn. It's like, oh, no, I get the first attack in. Now, then, where are they? Oh, I can't see them all. Might be them, right? Okay, this is different. I'm pretty sure these shouldn't be walking around right now. Because that is three. And there should be three of them that are like planted and not running around yet because they're meant to come and ambush you when you go for that item. Oh, where is it? Double check that it's not these bushes here. Which it is not. No. Okay, that's really weird that they were already walking around. Eastern set. No one spoke to that guy yet, which is interesting. with Hydra was. Continue on around. I don't think there were any chests in the middle of this area, but we're gonna, we're gonna have a decent look around anyway. There's still two of those NPC type characters left for us to, uh, to take on as well. Hello. Should've stayed in the ground. Oh, an awful lot of these. to the ground. Should have known. Fluffy cuddle monsters. Let's continue. Where brute force does not work. Use magic instead. I'm pretty sure around here we're going to have Faris attacking us. Pretty soon. Anyway. Whoa, there's like a whole band of, uh, of enemies for us to defeat. There we go, that's Faris. Oh look, I knew something was coming. Coming at this from a very bad angle. 
Again, we have a knight with a ranged helper. And that is not to my advantage. Let's separate them a little bit. I don't realize there were two of these identically. There's a temptation here to uh, ruin you like that. Damn. Got there first, eh? <laughs> Got my strike in there. That didn't help you, did it? There we go. Learn some manners. Right, now we're just, I don't know where Farish is going to have gone, so we need to be careful. Let's take a heal here. I'm, I'm much more positive these aren't going to respawn now, so um, I am going to take a rest, I think, before we continue. Now, where was it? There we are. Now, it's not particularly uh, difficult once you get up close to him. I'll trade with you for that. He should drop his bow, if I remember rightly. Oh, there we go. Right, we're going this way. We've got a couple of like actually human enemies. We've got a priest dude, and we've got this one. Didn't see you. Mr. Thief. Mr. Priest. I'll be careful with this one because he can heal. Uh, with the miracle. Whoa! Didn't get a chance for the roll there. Just how much of a pain the mace can be. He's gonna try and heal it. That's what's going for. Nope. Nope. Careful, because that is a parrying shield, so if he gets that off, it's going to be very damaging with his dagger. <laughs> Just sidestepped out of the way of it. Pain in the ass. But they can't parry jumping attacks. Let's get a few of those in, and you'll be good. Now the reason they're all kind of ethereal like this is because they're basically all wearing the Ring of Fog. Uh, if you want one of those yourselves, you can actually get that through killing a few players uh, as a part of this covenant. I think that makes this guy the last one. And there should be a dude that's a merchant on the right hand side. He's not there. Whoa, that hurt a lot. Jesus. That's outrageous. We not that much poise. Eat that. <laughs> now then. Uh, because it's basically possible to run past them all if they do all respawn, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to go ahead and rest now. I think we've got all the items. Just double check there's nothing on the left hand side. There's no more of these NPCs left. Which is pretty fine. Yes, that's good. And that's where the cat was from previous episodes. And I think we've got enough stores to get some more health, which is also handy. I can't believe how much damage he took off me with that one shot. It must have been like a critical position. There's nothing on these either, is there? No. No. Okay, just checking. So this now you guys will get to see which ones do and don't respawn. But I know for a fact that the one that fired the, uh, the bow of fire status doesn't respawn. Sorcerer isn't there. Well, yes, they are. So they do, in fact, all respawn. I didn't think they did. Nope. 
slightly got limits down. I hate that. There is a temptation to uh, jump off the top of these steps when they're chasing you, but don't do that because they'll try and jump on top of you, and they can get you trapped in this corner, which isn't very good. But um, just run out into the woods a little bit. They'll start leashing soon. Oh, he wants to still come. Okay. There you go, and off he goes. Of course, if you want to use some spells up to cheese him, feel free, but uh, I'm going to let him retreat. These guys have great range. <laughs> I didn't actually use my points to uh, to level up. That's interesting. Isn't it? Oh my god! No, get off. Okay, so, with him dealt with, uh, Mr. Mace Man has probably already gone. I'm going to go ahead and grab the uh, the stone set from around here. Obviously I showed this in an earlier episode, but uh, left it here, because I wanted to leave this area mostly complete. Although we have already collected probably the most important item, just because I wanted it early. Although we didn't actually end up using it, just because I was too, too caught up in everything else that we were doing. So, um, <clears throat> there is... An entire forest to explore over that way. Um, and we are going to do that, but I want to face Sith first, just because it's here, and I've still got. Oh, I've only got five vessels left. Damn! Should have. Uh, there's a lot of things I should have done here. I should have uh, reversed hollowing, and I should have kindled the bonfire, because this is quite a long run for uh, five vessels flasks. If I do die to Sith, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop onto here. Now, I'm pretty sure it's possible for some of the fluffy flower dudes to follow you down here. Just make sure there aren't any. They can't attack you anymore, just getting across here, but it's just best off to not get caught out. For some reason, there's a there's a drop there that you can die on if you want to. Let's go see our old friend Sif. I don't quite know how much damage he's going to do to me. But um, high stability shield shuts him down pretty badly. So uh, if you want an even bigger advantage, feel free to... Um, upgrade the boulder shield and that will basically hold him at bay most of the, most of the match. So we kind of get into here, this starts the boss fight. that jump about mm -hmm. I think that's the only one we can't block so be careful with the spinny one it's so fast why wow, everything's all missed that's not good <laughs> see this on Oh, I put me down there, didn't you, dude? Being under his legs gives you a pretty good advantage, so um, try to use that when you can. Sorry, Sif. <laughs> oh, I missed. That one didn't, though. Ah, Covenant Spartorius. 
me play. Cool. That actually went a lot better than I thought it would. And we have the Hornet Ring. Uh, a very, very nasty ring. Uh, particularly if you're good at using it. If you, uh, basically, you'll do more damage if you uh, do a um, critical strike from a parry or a backstab. Very nasty. Cool. So a few more things for us to take a look at as we're going around here. I can't remember exactly what else there is to collect around here, but there's not much of, um, of great importance. Now that I have warping, we could actually go and do pinwheel as well. I'm just thinking whether or not we should try to get like ungodly powerful before we start messing with the four kings. I really hate the four kings. We are going to be changing the headset for that because they do magic damage. And increasing our magic resistance is going to be pretty key. Let's just take a look around. There's not really that much in aggressive enemies around here other than obviously the cat things which can't get us to the light unless we go and take a wrong turn, which I think is down there. Let's get ourselves a bearing on where we are. Okay, there's the cat things, look. We ain't messing with those. Especially because there's just nothing to do with them. Like, they, uh, they don't really drop anything particularly nice, and they just kill you. There's nothing there to collect either. So, just kind of pointless. They're not pointless. They're obviously there for a reason. They're there as like a little gatekeeper, aren't they? So, for this whole little area. And I guess to make sense, it's not too easy to reach this area early on. Even though we did it anyway. Okay, there's apparently there's really nothing else to collect out here. Maybe we did collect way too much in that episode. <laughs> Never mind. So, uh, for those of you joining me on this episode, I suppose I should point out that there is the Enchanted Ember. Careful of these guys, you can just kite them away from them. There's no real reason to go killing them. And that... Is this area complete? So, I don't see a reason to risk going past all of the, uh, the forest denizens. Going back to the bonfire. We'll go ahead and use our songs. Two more levels. I guess it up to 20. It's where I wanted it. So the temptation is, of course, to do that now. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay, how much do I need for another level? 29. That really shouldn't take long to uh, to get from these guys. Just play these guys out once more and then we should really have enough souls to level again. Where's the knight? With his blasted frog ring. Okay, so the knight hasn't respawned, look. That's interesting. What? Basically ran straight through that. That is some terrible accuracy. Eat that. I do love this spell, it looks so badass. someone moving around behind me. What is happening there? Alright, where's Conan? 
<laughs> Even with blocking. <laughs> no. And that's the danger with that spell. I think that's about the right amount. One more point. Where are we going to put it? That's the question. That more health makes sense. Yeah, that's what we're doing. More health. Cool. So we are going to warp to... Finally try. I don't have got any soul items to use. I don't have the items to turn into new weapons. There's a lot of stuff I could do with the boss souls, but I've just not been doing it really. Um, here we have Sigma. Fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking to get the old book. Was that your doing? Yes. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This light of Catalina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Well, hey. There you are. I'll be heading down below short. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> cool. So something's ha there. There are things starting to progress here, which is quite nice. Next one to Laurentius. Oh, hello there. Why? What? What? What spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I have never seen anything like it. Now, it, once you say yes to this, and I think we only get this chance to say it, uh, he is going to move down uh, to Black Town as well. So we've got quite a few NPCs moving down there now. So make sure you've got everything that you want from him, like combustion, for example. Uh, I'm going to see if we've got any. I'm going to see if I've got some souls. I would like to get some of his pyromancy, just in case I want them for later. And I don't have enough. Oh no. Eh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, you can always pick them back up on uh, New Game Plus. You're getting pretty early, so. Um, let's reload the area. See if all of these guys start moving on. Because if so, we can go and do a little bit of business in Blight Town, which would be handy. Ching. Should be a new NPC down there. No, he's not moved. Okay, that's interesting. <clears throat> he, however, has. So we don't need to go all the way down there anymore. We can just teleport to Daughter of Chaos, which is the other best thing about uh, about discovering this covenant that's down here. I can't remember how he opened this door. Anyways. Uh, we could also... Do a little funny side quest with this guy, but... Um, well, we'll see how it goes. Head up this way. There's every chance uh, Laurentius has gone hollow now, so we may need to fight him up here. I should probably get. Unfortunately, we have to reduce our magic damage. Not that we need that level of magic damage in here, anyway. I'll be shocked if Great Hollow doesn't. Uh, Roll these guys over. Gee, 
I want a third instance, I want to get rid of uh, the standard swallow. Uh, I mean, another 30 minutes, we could, we could end the episode pretty soon, I suppose. So this should actually round this episode out pretty nicely. Um, so, let's take a look. So it looks like Carla has not arrived. Oh wait, maybe she has. Is that her there? No, I don't think it is. Okay. I don't know why she hasn't arrived, that's really weird. We're gonna go take a closer look. Damn. You got a lot of health. Three thousand you got nearly a thousand health. 900. That just seems obscene. Not a standard enemy. I just saw the shadows of those guys, and that was pretty. pretty telling. Oh, I didn't like where they spawned from there. I was certain they were meant to spawn from um, like a big central tree. That's going to make it nearly impossible to talk to Carla. She's meant to appear here. I can't remember what I'm missing. Right, there's Laurentius. We could do with him now. Man's gone hollow. Unfortunately. He's oddly not immune to the poison. So he can basically let him kill himself slowly. I oh, can also kill the thingies. Ha <laughs> that's pretty cool. Down goes Laurentius, unfortunately. No, not if Katarina has not come down here yet. By the look of it, let's just double check. You'd know if he had. Because we'd be able to see him. I think for, him, for his quest to continue, we need to freeze daughter, which is a bit of a wire, a little bit off for now. But whilst we're here, let's go ahead and kill some slugs. Oh, he is here. Uh, and we need, you need to make sure you have some spare purple moss for him. Uh, if you do want to come down here for this. Obviously, going to the dark root garden should have given you a few of them. Cool, and doing that will basically send him to the bottom of the tree area where we can uh, basically get a. In fact, no, it shouldn't do. Wait. 
Oh no, he goes in a different direction. I am totally, I was totally off there. Uh, he's actually going to be quite helpful for later. Ha ha. Got the reorder wrong. Got the order wrong. He actually wants to go and kill a load of stuff for us. Later on. It's going to be pretty helpful. Everybody loves a clean one. Cool. Didn't get any, anywhere near as many stones as I'd like to, but never mind. So we're going to go ahead and walk on back to the bonfire. So we've progressed two storylines here. I'm still shocked that we can't get Carlos to appear. I'm going to take a look at as to why that is. It may just be later on in the game. But uh, I was sure she could appear before now. Right, let's make a move. Now, just in case uh, people are worried about upgrading their uh, Pyromancer Flame, the guy in. Um, the Daughter of Chaos common in place is able to upgrade that for us, so that's not a problem. Ah, Phylic Shrine is going to be all but empty now, I think. I think that's all the NPCs gone, apart from the front. Who's that guy under your thing? Now then, I am told that... Um, I'm not told, but anyway, I was looking at it. Apparently we can go and talk to Frampt if you wish to. Um, you'll have to homeward bone out of the area that he takes you to. I'm still not going to be doing any of that. I'm just going to leave him alone. And take a rest. In our rather lonely looking filing shrine. I don't know if these guys will have moved on. No, not, none of these have moved on yet, so that's cool. Me that he has you to thank. Well, we are both in your debt now. Thank you sincerely. He's just over there. Oh, hello. I appreciate the attention, but you really should... That will certainly... Have you ever cast one of Logan's spells? Yes. Isn't it exhilarating? As he sees it, there are no gods. It is in all time. Uh, so not yet. His, um... Goodbye. Eventually, Logan will move on, and his spells will expand. So he'll basically get Logan's set of spells. So we should get a second um, soul spear from him, and then he'll move into a different place. I can't remember if he gives us another set of spells of the same type. Uh, he will give us obviously the crystal, the crystal spells. So anyway, that is the end of this episode. We've been doing a little bit of dithering there, but we did get some side quests um, progress. That's good. Uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. We're going to be dealing with another very, very difficult place. I don't think it's on the same level as Sense Fortress and Anna Londo, but it is frustrating mainly because of uh, this is the main bonfire for it. And so it's quite long to get up and down from there. In fact, before we go, let's go ahead and buy some transient curses. And I'm pretty sure we can purchase them from the merchant up here. I'm hoping we can. If not, it's probably that guy. But uh, let's just check whilst we're on camera. And obviously now we have reason to go over there. I mean, we'll go over and uh, collect some stuff in a second. Um, because we we killed uh, Onstein last, we should now be able to uh, buy his armor set from. Uh, I can't remember his name, Domnor. 
He'll, he'll have a few bosses uh, armor sets as well as we progress. So that's pretty cool. Hello, purchase items. I need those. 4k each. That's terrible. Alright, so, uh, you got a few things that you go on for this lady. These are also pretty good. I really need transit curses. Three is not going to be enough. Mmm. Mmm. How am I going to get more of those? Okay, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. They're really expensive. I do not remember them being that expensive. Well, that is perplexing. Obviously, the other option is I can eat some boss souls and get a load, but I really don't think that's worth it. So, uh, I'm going to have to hope that I can get through Alan Londo basically in one go and clear out all the ghosts between those three transit curses. It could be a mistake, but uh, as long as we make enough souls back out of them, um, we can always buy some more for subsequent, subsequent runs. So, cool. With that guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. I'm going to have a quick think to see if there's another way that we can get some transit cusses. And I will catch you next time.